Minnetonka Cave is a fascinating natural wonder located in St. Charles Canyon near Bear Lake in Idaho. Here are 50 facts about Minnetonka Cave. Location Minnetonka Cave is situated in the Bear River Mountains, within the Caribou Targhee National Forest in southeastern Idaho, USA. Discovery The cave was discovered in August 1907 by Martin Hansen, a local resident. Formation Minnetonka Cave is a solutional cave formed by the dissolution of soluble bedrock, primarily limestone. Size, the cave extends over 9,000 feet, although only about half of it is open to the public. Guided tours, visitors can explore the cave through guided tours led by experienced park rangers. Stalactites and stalagmites, the cave is adorned with various formations, including stalactites, stalagmites, columns, flowstone, and helictites. Helictites, Minnetonka Cave is particularly known for its intricate helictites, which are formations that defy gravity and grow in unusual, twisted shapes. Temperature The cave maintains a relatively constant temperature of around 40 degrees Fahrenheit 4 degrees Celsius throughout the year. Tour Duration A typical guided tour of Minnetonka Cave lasts about 90 minutes. Access The cave is accessed through a series of staircases and pathways, making it accessible to a wide range of visitors. Bat Habitat the cave serves as a habitat for several bat species, and efforts are made to protect these populations. Educational Programs Minnetonka Cave offers educational programs for schools and groups, providing insights into geology, cave formations, and conservation. Cave Lighting The cave is illuminated with electric lighting, allowing visitors to appreciate the natural beauty of its formations. Closed Season the cave is typically closed during the winter months due to weather conditions and to protect the bat population during hibernation. Reservation System During peak seasons, there may be a reservation system in place to manage the number of visitors and ensure a positive experience for everyone. Cave Photography Photography is allowed in the cave, but the use of flash is restricted to protect the delicate formations. Elevation Minnetonka Cave is situated at an elevation of approximately 7,800 feet. 2,377 meters, above sea level. Bear Lake The nearby Bear Lake, often called the Caribbean of the Rockies, is a popular destination for water-related activities and is located close to the Minnetonka Cave. Trail System There are hiking trails in the surrounding area, providing opportunities for nature enthusiasts to explore the beautiful mountainous terrain. Limestone Formation The cave is primarily formed in the Madison Limestone, a geologic formation that extends across parts of Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming. Historical Significance Minnetonka Cave has historical significance as it was used for recreational purposes by early settlers in the region. Great Depression Era During the Great Depression, the cave was operated as a dance hall to generate income. Ownership The cave is managed by the United States Forest Service. Visitor Center There is a visitor center near the cave entrance providing additional information about the cave's history, geology, and conservation efforts. Flora and Fauna The surrounding forest is home to diverse flora and fauna, contributing to the overall ecosystem of the area. Cave Safety Visitors are instructed to follow safety guidelines, including staying on designated paths and not touching cave formations. Rocky Mountain Bighorn Sheep The area around Minnetonka Cave is known for being a habitat for Rocky Mountain Bighorn Sheep. Cave conservation. Efforts are ongoing to preserve and conserve the cave environment, including monitoring visitor impact and implementing sustainable practices. Cave entrance. The entrance to Minnetonka Cave is unassuming, with a natural opening in the limestone rock. Karst topography. The cave is part of the karst topography, characterized by unique landforms created by the dissolution of soluble rocks like limestone. Sinkholes. Karst topography often features sinkholes, Depressions in the ground caused by the dissolution of underlying rock layers. Cave formations growth. Stalactites and stalagmites in Minnetonka Cave grow at a very slow rate, often taking thousands of years to form. Visitor limitations. To protect the cave environment, there may be limitations on the number of visitors allowed on each tour. Preservation Act. The cave falls under the Federal Cave Resources Protection Act, which aims to conserve significant caves on federal lands. No pets allowed. Pets are not allowed inside the cave to prevent any potential harm to both the animals and the cave environment. Cave Pools The cave features pools of water, adding to the unique geological formations. Cave's Name The origin of the name Minnetonka is unclear, but it is likely inspired by Native American or local folklore. 
Geological history. When the area was covered by ancient seas. Speleothems. Speleothems, which include stalactites and stalagmites, are formed as mineral-laden water drips and deposits minerals in the cave. Cave breezes. Minnetonka Cave experiences air movement known as cave breezes caused by temperature differences between the cave and its surroundings. Cave colors. The cave features a variety of colors resulting from mineral deposits, including shades of white, tan, and red. Geological faults. The surrounding area is known for geological faults, contributing to the formation of caves and other unique features. Cave exploration equipment. Early explorers of Minnetonka Cave used candles and lanterns for lighting, making their way through the dark passages. Cave entrance fee. There is typically an entrance fee to visit Minnetonka Cave, with fees supporting maintenance and conservation efforts. Cave water sources. Water sources within the cave are essential for the formation of stalagmites and other features. Cave pockets. Some areas of the cave have pockets or chambers that open up into larger spaces, providing a sense of awe for visitors. Cave acoustics. The cave's unique acoustics were utilized during its time as a dance hall, enhancing the musical experience for attendees. Prehistoric use. Evidence suggests that prehistoric Native American populations may have used the cave for shelter or ceremonial purposes. Cave exploration gear. Today, visitors are equipped with modern cave exploration gear, including helmets and appropriate footwear. Visitor contributions. Responsible tourism and visitor contributions help fund conservation efforts and ensure the cave's preservation for future generations.